Hello everyone, I have some good news. Our new building's open and we're ready to move in by the first day of school. Christine, does anyone have our new agenda? Yes. Can you go over the new agenda please? The issues are condom machines and the legalization of medical marijuana. Look, I need to say something before each of you guys give your opinions about the condom issue. Because that is what we're starting with, right? Yes, we're starting with the issue of condom machines at the new campus. I have an article here titled Common Availability Program in the U.S. Schools, written by Douglas B. Kirby and Nancy L. Brown from the Gut Metro Institute. Christine, will you inform the staff on what's the base of this article? In the U.S., as of January 1955, at least 431 public school districts made condoms available to all school districts. Who would like to go first? Why are we here on a Friday night? discussing this. I'm supposed to be with my family. This is highly suspect, if you ask me. There's respect, but nobody asked you. I didn't hear any respect in that. People, people, please, be professional. Let's get through this meeting today with no interruptions. We've all had a long week, and we all want to go home. I... Oh hell, I was at home. Let Principal Boston finish. Excuse me. Christine, will you send a memo with everyone's new schedule? No one ever mentioned anything about a new schedule to me. Principal Boston, then what was the reason for this meeting today? There's nothing on this piece of paper that you passed out except for congratulations, we did it. There's no real agenda on here. People, we're moving into a new facility. What information do you have on the California laws and penalties on the use of medical marijuana. I excuse me, excuse me. What I do know is that California law states that if any, any students caught with medical marijuana that they could lose their driving privileges. Thank you for that informative information, Mrs. Summers. But I'd like to get this meeting over with so I can get the hell out of here. I wish somebody would explain something because we aren't getting anywhere. Damn it. Can I speak for one goddamn minute without anyone interrupting me? Christine, can you give me a bottle of water? Yes. No disrespect, but how can we be the only teachers going over these new schools, facilities, or campuses, or whatever you call we're calling these institutions these days? I appreciate that, Mr. Gonzalez. However, only teachers with degrees in psychology will be able to be able to teach at the school. What? How can you do this? You mean facility, right Boston? Are you saying we're the only ones being attracted to the new site? I think we all know that in this type of setting, it would be called an educational facility. Christine, go ahead. Again, the topics are condom machines and students showing up to class under the influence of legalized medical marijuana. Look, we're teachers, but we're also psychologists, and we have to respect the law as well as the right to students. If a student has a medical excuse for marijuana, then it is our job to counsel and educate them to the best of our ability. However, any student that doesn't have a medical excuse for marijuana and shows up to school under the influence, they should and will be expelled. And as for condoms, what can I really say about that? Condoms, medical marijuana, 
at our new location. Duh. Look, these laws can be overwhelming sometimes, but this is the world that we live in. I personally don't have a problem with it, but it has to go to the board no matter what our vote is. That being said, we have to stay focused on our roles as, as educators and psychologists. I appreciate everyone's input. Ms. Summers, I'd like to hear more from you. It doesn't matter what I say. I just feel, maybe it's a bit old fashioned, but they are my beliefs. I just think they need to put prayer back in the schools. Everybody lost their moral compass. I don't know. I want to say, Mrs. Summers, we all understand your feelings. Many of us were raised the same way. There are just so many changes we all have, we have to face in our daily basis. Yes, I agree. I'm currently counseling a young student who is transgender. Now, this wasn't an issue that was prevalent a generation ago, but times change and we have to respect our students whether or not we agree with them. But you have to admit the timing of this meeting is a bit inappropriate. Am I the only one? No. That's right. You're out of line for that, Boston. First, you make us come back after school on a Friday evening. And no union rep or board members? All right, let's vote. I'd really like to get out of here. One last question. Principal Boston, why wasn't there a board member here today? Hmm. Uh, I think we should take a vote. Christine, is there anything you want to bring up on the issue? I'm not voting, so I'd rather keep my thoughts to myself. Nay. Thank you for coming out this evening. And everyone, have a good weekend. Thank you. You better not pull this shit again. <laughs>